Hello and welcome back. So guys in this video we are going to talk about these states. There are a few factors when we are talking about these states. We need to know that these states are something which we only can create and use in the class type components. We just cannot use them in the functions component because they are stateless. So we just cannot use that here. Now what are these states first of all? For example here I am going to open the detail.js and you know here are some data and we when we are going to the browser let's just go to the browser anyway so we would see the result on time npm start and here again the same problem the cd master react oh sorry i made a line okay now master react and okay now i'm in the master react now the npm start now need to wait a little bit so it's gonna run the server now it's live you can see that these are the results we are getting from the detail.js file now i'm gonna do some changes in it as you can see that this function is the sorry this app component is a functional component so we cannot use the state in the functional component anyway i want to clear one more thing that because of the latest version of the react react introduced the react hooks and we can use the react hooks for this purpose to use the functional components just like the class components but by now we are not going to talk about that when we will be talking about the react hooks we would talk about the uh, talk about how we can use the functional components accordingly but by now we are just going as it is so by now we are using the states in the class components so there is a CLS com we used the CLS com in the detail page anyway I'm gonna do something here so here we are sending the RAM value along when we are calling the detail component here we can use a variable here too and by now I'm doing the same like var1 and here I'm adding some value I'm typing here 64 GB okay this is a variable we've made and now instead of the 32 GB plain value I'm using the variable which is var1 okay now I can save it now I can go to the browser to see the result I'm going there and here at the browser I have a laptop with 64 GB RAM hard drive and processor okay that means it's working now I'm going back this is something we can do in the functional components too but what's a special thing when we're talking about these states actually we are able to change these states while the component got loaded so that's the great thing of the state now I'm gonna go with the states method because this method is not very impressive anyway this is just something we can use anywhere so why what is the point of using states to declare this state we need to type the state keyword right here okay now first thing first we need to know that a state is not something we are writing or actually we are creating it is a reserved word and we are able to assign some value to it using the JavaScript method like the object and inside that we can put anything like laptop laptops because we can be talking about multiple laptops anyway laptops like that and then how the object works I'm opening these square brackets and I'm going inside and for the each value or each data set I'm opening the curly braces again and the first thing I'm typing here the RAM okay and I'm adding some value like uh, I'm writing here the value for the RAM is 32 GB okay I can write something different like 64128 GB okay just to make you sure that we are actually getting something new we are also able to put some more data like adding a comma we are ultimately not using any other thing here but now we can use that if I go to the detail.js we are receiving the RAMs HDD and processor so we can use the HDD and the processor too so I'm adding a comma like that and here I'm adding the value for the HDD I'm adding here something like 2TB and adding another comma in processor okay processor and here in the processor area I'm writing 
for i7 and just ok. Now I'm going down. I also can make multiple clauses here like that. I'm again typing RAM and the value for the RAM I'm adding as um, 512 or 256 GB and a comma and HDD and here I'm writing 1.5 sorry I even can add integers here but I'm not going with the integer by now because that's not necessary adding a comma and processor and like that for I5 and I can add some more data if we want so I'm adding another one the RAM and here 512 GB and adding a comma an HDD and here I'm writing 5 TB adding a comma again processor and here core i3 and saving it and now all I need is to do one thing because it's JavaScript so I need to add a comma here and I need to add a comma here 